Today you're joining us in the highly sought after residential area of Boars Hill in Oxford and it's only three miles away from the city centre. Today we're going to be taking you inside this incredible 3.5 million pound home listed with Corey from Keller Williams. It has six bedrooms and 5,400 square feet of interior space. It's gone through some extensive expansions and renovations by the current owner, bringing in so much light to the property, big open spaces. We've got a swimming pool that's indoor and has a retractable floor. We've got a secret bar and a stunning principal suite. Can't wait to take you inside. But first, gonna talk you through the front of the house a little bit more. You can see, kind of a traditional style but with a facelift we've got the white render slate roof with the dark features around the windows and the door then here on the right you can see where we have the extension so we've got that vertical wood cladding with the slate on the side it looks incredible we've actually got a double cart garage underneath it too but in addition to that you've got this gravel driveway with ample storage and access into the property through some incredible electric gates but we're going to head round the back and check out the garden. We actually have two access points on either side of the house. Let's go. So at the back, we have an incredible amount of green space, currently very crunchy because it's frosty. It's currently zero degrees here, <laughs> but we have a lot of space and we have a tiered garden. So before we show you that, just take a little look at the back of the house. We've got that white render, the black features. Here you can see where the pool is. We've got the glass windows once again, bifolding doors that come out to this patio area. And we even have a water feature there, which kind of goes down the tiers. But Tom, should we have a look? Yeah, yeah. Have a yeah. little peer over. Look over the edge. So down here we have more lawn space. We even have a barked area with kind of like a play setup, And then we have storage at the back, greenhouse, shed, you name it. There's even it. a climbing wall here. Is it a climbing? Yeah. That's so cool. It's like yeah. a park in Loads your garden. Loads of mature trees all around. So it's a really nice uh, view out to the back. Lots of nature. We've seen a lot yeah. of birds this morning already. Yeah. So, yeah. But now we're going to head round to the front again and kickstart this tour. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're inside the property now. I'm gonna stick a quick floor plan up so you can understand the layout of the house that bit better. But we have this entrance hall with the herringbone flooring. We've got a toilet here to my right. And we've actually got a lounge space through there as well, which serves as a really nice, cozy room. But opposite me, Tom, we actually have a music slash games room. So let's head on in. Herringbone flooring continues through here. We've got the piano, we've got access out to your garden and look, one of these. Subscribe. Home show. <laughs> <laughs> but if we come back through, stairs leading up to the bedrooms there. But here we have our open plan living kitchen and dining space. So this is part of the extension that was built onto the house. You can see it's a lot more bright. We've got tons of glazing throughout. In this area here, we've got a fire with the TV, access out through the sliding doors to the garden. Lounge setup here, we've kind of got the tiered ceiling too, just to bring that separation into the different parts of this open plan layout. Wow, look at this, Tom. We actually have a skylight running up the top here and down here, it kind of acts like a light well, just making the space so bright. You can actually see the walkway to the principal suite there as well. We'll see that in a bit. But here we have our kitchen. We've got so much storage throughout here in that dark wood. Integrated appliances, both Bosch and Neff, kind of at that good hip height, so easy to use. We've got the large central island in the middle with the marble top and wooden sides. Nice natural material palette through here. We've also got the marble countertops over on this side and plenty of storage underneath. We've got the Neff gas hob here too and while we're here, Tom, just going to point out. Oh, nice, yeah. Pull the alley <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the thing I love the most about this kitchen is how it overlooks the dining area. So you've kind of got the glass balustrades overlooking, and we actually step down to go yeah. down there. But before we do, breakfast stools here, and through here, we have a utility space that leads on to your garage which is currently being used as a gym. Handy. It's very cool in there, so it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But let's step down here. 
there's like a bench seat here as well, which is nice. We've got our dining room. Now this is such a bright space. The ceiling is literally glass here. And we've got that ambient strip through the middle, really makes you feel like you're outside. And we do have access to the garden here as well. Heated flooring throughout here. I can really feel it on my feet. But the most incredible thing about this space is the fact that we actually have a secret hatch door that leads down to a secret bar. Should we go check it out, Tom? Let's do it. Let's go. So this secret room acts as a bar slash games room. We actually have access under the pool leading to the annex, which is currently being used as staff quarters. But while we're down here, Tom, I've got to give it a try. Do you want one? Yeah, Me one each. Don't throw it at me. I won't, you go first. Ready? Ooh, Ooh. six. Okay, six to beat. Well, you're easily gonna beat that. Nine. 69. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna head on into the pool. We've got sliding doors leading in. Wow, a great space. It's so warm in here, it kind of has its own climate, so you never have to be worried about getting chilly in here. We have a retractable floor, so it rises up and becomes a dance floor, essentially. The owner of this house was actually the first ever person in the UK to bring it into their home. Pretty cool. We've got an ensuite and shower through there, and then we also have access to the staff quarters, which is kind of like an annex. But we're gonna head upstairs. Okay, so we're upstairs now. We're gonna come into the principal suite first of all. So Jazz is just backing up. This is the area that we said about before where you kind of look down, that void section. But coming in here, wow. This is so incredible. So this is part of that extension we saw out the very front, mm. the wood cladded section. And it looks so cool. It's almost like a barn style with the beams up above, but like a really modern luxury version of a barn, if that makes yeah. sense. So we've got the double bed here looking out over your your roof terrace and your balcony. So yeah, not a bad view to wake up in the morning, is it Jess? No, it looks incredible. Head up there for a coffee in the summer. Wow, huge tiles, but I think we should head through into the ensuite. Do you want to go through that side? Okay. Because we've got his and hers, so I've got a dressing room this side, so does Jazz. But then when we come around the corner, we have this beautiful ensuite. So we've got a, a bath at that side. It's so spacious, so you don't sacrifice anything in the bathrooms. You know, you can have yeah. the bath, you can have the walk-in shower, and there's still plenty of room for your basins. And it's just incredible, isn't it? The amount of glazing that we've got. So we've got the triangular window up there, and we've got this huge window that goes past just the roof and then down here too. Yeah. And see right now, you know, that sun is coming straight in. I mean, it's the morning, so yeah, you know, wake up, brush your teeth and you've got some nice sunlight. Oh, Incredible. Yeah. So leaving the, the bedroom then, come this way. This is being used as a bedroom at the moment because the property is currently being used as an Airbnb, sleeps up to 25 guests. So you're gonna see a multitude of bedrooms as we go through. And we've got a light here that looks like it's about to jump on the uh, Pixar. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just like that, Jess. Be a great dressing room or nursery. Yeah, exactly. Dressing room, nursery, study section. You can even have like a lounge so you have the whole principal suite. And then behind Jazz, we've got another bedroom. We're going to come across this way. Really nice wide hallways with a two tone colour, more chandeliers. Let's check out this bathroom. So we have a really nice slate style tiling on the floors with the marble half tiles on the walls as well. Switches to mosaic around that uh, double sink. It's nice to see that sort of separation because we've got the same in the shower. So the sort of wet spaces have those yeah. mosaic tiles. Yeah, and then we've got a really intelligent shower here that actually uses wastewater, collects it, and then reuses it in the shower. So great for your energy bills and the bath, obviously. But let's go. Across the hallway, we have another bedroom. We're gonna head through this one though. But there's so many bedrooms in this house. So a great double bed with the Sort of panelling, the coffered style ceiling, mm. loads of storage, then a view out to the back garden. Then we have an ensuite as well through here. Really nice glass topped basin. Some uh, like translucent tiles. Look pretty crazy, don't they? Right, let's head back out and down this hallway again. We've got more bedrooms up this set of stairs, so we're gonna go up there now. So up on this top floor, we have another double bedroom just to my left here. But check out this 
this um, Juliet balcony just. Wow. Have a little look down to the garden. Wow. It's pretty special, right? <laughs> Close that up, it's a bit chilly. But then just to my right here, we have a bathroom, which is perfect. We've got the uh, shower, sink, and toilet. You can also see the, the shape of the chimney, oh, the chimney nice. stack going up, but it's really convenient to have that bathroom there because this is the cinema room of the house. So rather than having to go downstairs mid-film to go to the, the toilet if you need a wee, yeah. you can just pop next door, it's perfect. This actually acts as a, a sofa bed as well. Yeah. So you can pull that out, that's another double bed for you. Then we've got the projector screen this side, just on a blind, really clever. So smart. Yeah, and another Juliet balcony just behind it as well. Oh, I'll show you. There we go, just behind this. Nice. And that view is so good. Yeah, I like the fact that there's no houses like behind. Yeah, you're just looking into the woods. Like if you were to set a telescope here into those woods, I bet you'd have like the best bird watching spot oh, possible. Oh my God, yeah. Because there's so many nests in there, I can see it already. <laughs> so cool. And then behind this door, we have another double bedroom. So, so much accommodation in this house. The area is great too. You know, we're super close to the M40, so transport links are great. We've also got a variety of really top end schools in the area. And we also have some great pubs and restaurants, so. If you fancy a walk and a bit of grub on a Sunday, yeah, we're in a great area for it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. We've come a long way for these videos, so it means a lot. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.